y'all. Happy Wednesday. I apologize for not sending a video yesterday. I got a little distracted here at school. I was running around, so um, I apologize. But I hope you're doing well. It is raining, so hopefully the smoke is a little bit cleared up after today. Um, I want to go kind of go through. Y'all are doing a great job, but today you're going to be doing 1.3 grid moves in your activity connected. Um, fantastic job on making sure you're understanding what to do on these activities. Please make sure you're watching my videos because they're going to be helpful um, for your understanding. If you kind of just skip through them, you might be a little bit lost. But I want to jump into this activity really fast just because I want to explain like different things I'm seeing from different parts of the activity that I want to kind of correct. When you are going through 1.1, um, I may have made a comment on your activity, but I need you to be a little bit more spe like specific when you're talking about the describe of the shape when it moves from frame to frame. So for instance, um, a lot of you are just saying, oh, it's moving up, down, rotating, et cetera. Well, okay, yes, great, it is. But I want you to make sure that you're explaining what happens from one frame one to frame two, from frame two to frame three, right? You need to be pretty specific on what's happening um, because it does all connect. So for instance, if you're doing question one, I would say from frame one to frame two, it looks like it's moving up. You can even go more specific and say one unit, okay? From frame two to frame three, it looks like it's rota rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise, all right? Um, some people wrote left, which is fine, but I want, do want to make clear that we did learn the words counter and um, counterclockwise and clockwise for this lesson, and so I do want us to use those words, okay? Um, two is the exact same thing. Okay, just you need to be specific. You can't just write down it's rotating, flipping, and it's like okay, yes, but from frame to frame, what's happening? So we can get full points for that. And then three, yes, I know it's a little bit difficult to do that with freehand drawing, but you can actually, you know, you can do your different shapes. Um, but a lot of you are doing great on that. So nice job. And then honestly, the next one is one point two is very very similar. Excuse me. Um. Just with the characteristics, y'all, just make sure you're reading the question and actually answering it, okay? I can't give you points if you're um, not reading all of it and completing the whole question, okay? You need to make sure that you're actually, like, you know, completing what I'm asking you to do. Um, but in this one, let's just take a little gander at it. Yeah, it's the exact same thing, um, except for the fact that for some of these, I want to make sure that you know the difference between what's happening with rotation and reflection. Reflection is actually going to literally flip an image, right? It's going to make it look like it's mirrored. Um, as far as rotating, your images should be turning, and some of us are getting those confused. Um, and I'm wondering if it's just because... Maybe you're not watching the videos and you're trying to assign it on your own, but make sure. I can't give you points if you're kind of just guesstimating, all right? Um, two is the exact same thing as the last activity, just making sure you're very, very clear on um, specific on what's going on. Some of these you can even say um, reflection or you can even say rotation. So I'm not going to grade you based off what you choose. Um, and then three, right? Um, some of us are getting them correct, but I do want to make clear if we have an image here, right? Well, you're doing okay. I just want to make sure you know that if we're rotating and we're grabbing this image and we're going left, which we are on this case, it's counterclockwise. So make sure you're careful with the difference between counterclockwise and clockwise, okay? Um, but this one is, in fact, turning counterclockwise if you're going a small amount. It's going clockwise if you're going a large amount of rotation, okay? Um, but yeah, you all are doing great. You're doing your next activity today. If you need any help or support, let me know. And uh, make sure after you've submitted something, you're still going back and checking if you don't have um, a grade on it. That means I probably left a comment saying, like, you need to correct this or check this or do this differently before I can give you points because I want to make sure we know what we're doing. All right, y'all. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions. You're all fantastic. And uh, yeah, enjoy your day. Smile. Life's not that bad.